Hello everyone, my name is Apple Guy and welcome to another episode of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the previous video we made our way through the Gerudo training grounds and got the ice arrows. And in today's episode, we're going to be making an advance on Ganon's castle right after we stop at the Temple of Time. If you remember, Raru called us and said he has something for us or someone is waiting there. We're going to go meet them right now. I have been waiting for you, Link. Link, the hero of time. You have overcome many hardships and awakened six sages. And now you have a final challenge, a showdown with Ganondorf, the king of evil. Before that, I have things I want to tell only to you. Please listen. Another unknown legend of the Triforce passed down by the Shadow Folk, the Sheikahs. Looks like I have another one of these things with the goddesses. If you would seek the Sacred Triangle, listen well. The resting place of the Sacred Triangle, the Sacred Realm, is a mirror that reflects what is in the heart. The heart of one who enters it. If an evil heart, the realm will become full of evil. If pure, the realm will become a paradise. The Triforce, the Sacred Triangle. It is a balance that weighs the three forces. Power, wisdom, and courage. If the heart of the one who holds the Sacred Triangle has all three forces in balance, that one will gain the true force to govern all. But, if that one's heart is not in balance, the Triforce will separate into three parts, power, wisdom, and courage. Only one part will remain for the one who touched the Triforce, the part representing the force that one most believes in. If that one seeks the true force, that one must acquire the two lost parts. Those two parts will be held within others chosen by destiny, who will bear the Triforce mark on the backs of their hands. Seven years ago, Ganondorf, the King of Thieves, used the door you opened in the Temple of Time and entered the Sacred Realm. But, when he laid his hands on the Triforce, the legend came true. The Triforce separated into three parts, only the Triforce of Power remained in Ganondorf's hand. The strength of the Triforce of the Power enabled him to become a mighty evil king, but his dark ambitions were not satisfied. To gain complete mastery of the world, Ganondorf started looking for those chosen by destiny to hold the two other Triforce parts. The one who holds the Triforce of Courage is you, Link! and the other, who holds the Triforce of Wisdom, is the seventh sage, who is destined to be the leader of them all. Hey look! Sheik's got a Triforce on his hand, that's pretty gnarly. Oh, I don't know why that'd blind me like that. <gasps> it's Zelda! Sheik has been Zelda this whole game! <gasps> who could have thought? It is I, the Princess of Hyrule, Zelda. I apologize for meeting you in a disguise, but it was necessary to hide from the King of Evil. Please forgive me. On that day, seven years ago, Ganondorf attacked Hyrule Castle. I saw you as I was escaping from the castle with my attendant, Impa. I thought I should entrust the Ocarina of Time to you. I thought that would be our best chance. As long as you had the Ocarina in your possession, I thought Ganondorf could never enter the Sacred Realm, but... something I could never expect happened. 
After you opened the door of time, the Master Sword sealed you away in the Sacred Realm. Your spirit remained in the Sacred Realm, and then the Triforce fell into Ganondorf's hands. He went on to invade the Sacred Realm. Ganondorf had become the Evil King, and the Sacred Realm became a world of evil. All of this is an unfortunate coincidence. I passed myself off as a Sheikah and hoped that you would return. I waited for seven years. Sorry about that. Didn't, uh, didn't mean for it to take so long. And now you are back. The Dark Age ruled by Ganondorf, the Evil King, will end. The Six Sages will open the sealed door and lure Ganondorf back into the Sacred Realm. I will then seal the door to the Sacred Realm from this world. Thus, Ganondorf the Evil King will vanish from Hyrule. Link, in order to do this, I need your courage again. Please protect me while I do my part. And here is a weapon that can penetrate the Evil King's defenses, the power given to the Chosen Ones. The Sacred Arrow of Light. So you see Princess Zelda's gonna conjure up some pretty cool magic for us. Big ball of light above her head. It's gonna come down, it's gonna be the light arrows. So we have fire arrows, we have ice arrows. This is gonna complete the three arrow collection. Here we are. Last item on our equipment screen. You got the light arrow. And as you know, it just serves as a normal arrow. It costs more magic than fire and ice, but still plenty worth it. And now there's an earthquake. Get under a doorway, Link. Duck under a table or something. That rumbling. It can't be. <gasps> no, not a crystal. Princess Zelda's become a display doll. Princess Zelda, you foolish traitor. I commend you for avoiding my pursuit for seven long years. But you let your guard down. I knew you would appear if I let this kid wander around. My only mistake was to slightly underestimate the power of this kid. No, it was not the kid's power I misjudged. It was the power of the Triforce of Courage. But, with the Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda has, when I obtain these two Triforces, then I will become the true ruler of the world. If you want to rescue Zelda, come to my castle. So as you can see, oh, Ganondorf just laughing at us, but he took Princess Zelda away in a crystal. And luckily she was able to give us the light arrows just in time. But as Ganondorf said, the only place to go now is directly to his front door, take him down. So as you know, his castle resides where Hyrule Castle used to be, just outside of here in the remains of the castle town. And let's bump into that planter box one more time, just haven't done that enough this series now, have we? Pardon me, Redeads, I need to get to Ganon's castle as soon as possible. Here we go. Alright, you see Ganon's castle is over a pit of lava and we cannot cross because there is nothing to do here. Maybe Link will have the faith to run across. Let's go! Link, can you hear me? It's Raru, the Sage. We six will gather our power to create a bridge to the castle where Ganondorf dwells. The castle's keep which is known as Ganon's Tower, is protected by six evil barriers. Bring down the six barriers and save Princess Zelda. In a fantastic show of their power, the six sages will come together to make a bridge, a rainbow bridge, of all of their powers to cross from our side into the castle. And just look at this bridge. It is so well made. See, Link's even looking at it like, what is this? Gnarly. He's impressed. Now we just have to run in. And we'll get our first look up inside Ganon's tower. Here we go. Very dark, very scary. Gotta go down. There's some Beemos in here, but we can ignore them for now. Pardon me, Beemos. I need to get through this door. Oh, I think he might have hit me. Open the door, Link. Good job. All right, so as you can see, this is actually the pathway to get up into Ganon's tower where he hides. But there is a barrier that we obviously cannot go through. And that barrier is being powered by six of these little rooms as a... As Raru said, there are actually rooms dedicated to each of the temples that we defeated. So here is forest, and then I think spirit is right here. Uh, there's water, water over there, sorry, and then light, and then there's more everywhere else. But 
In order to get into this next area, we have to break down all of these barriers. And in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, that is exactly what we are going to do. We're going to get all the barriers done in one video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please like, please subscribe. Remember, at 100 subscribers, we get to make a cake and eat it. That'll be wonderful. So smash the like button, subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe as well, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.